Hello all my YouTube friends. I'm going to do a little update here on my uh, hives at the house. See where they're at honey wise. Throw a shout out to my buddy at Doc's Healing Hives. Helping veterans heal. Good buddy of mine. Got me some stickers made too. So give a shout out to him. And uh, I'm going to go in here and look around a little bit and see what we got going on. pretty active today it's in the evening I just got off of work it's about almost seven o'clock so we're still pretty active here now. they definitely ate all their food I fed it filled this up a few days ago and They laid it off, which I figured they would. This box is still not working much on the on the super that I put on them. Looks like they're not doing a whole lot of nothing much, really. There's a frame I put in here. They haven't even started drawing anything out on it, really, yet. Plenty of brood on that frame there. It's just taking them a while to catch up and do anything with it. With that super. See if I can find some eggs. Huh? There's some brood, but we gotta make sure we still got a queen, so I need to look for some eggs. They're back filling this with honey. In the main brood chamber here. Now, something I want to mention, I've noticed maybe some people, you should always start from the left or the right of your box never pull out of the center of the frames always start from one side or the other it doesn't matter which side you start from just don't pull from the center
still no waves yet. She might be down on the bottom. Almost a full frame of honey here. They got a little bit more on this side here to do, and a little bit more on this side. And they'll be ready to go. the new frame down here in the bottom box where she's doing most of her laying her eggs at the most and that way they'll they'll go ahead and pull it out for her so she can lay some eggs in Even though there's <clears throat> nothing in this super, I'm going to leave it on here because I want to make, because there's plenty of bees in here, and I want to make sure that they have enough room when they, when all this hatches out. they got going on on the super here.
This here has a, as it hatches, then they backfill it with honey as the bees hatch out. Thing's heavy. Where's the queen? She's up here looking for some more to lay. There she is. Well, she's probably having trouble finding a place because the majority of this frame is got honey on it. So she's up here in a second box. Looking for somewhere to looking for somewhere to lay. So, what we really need to do on this box? There she is. What we need to do on this box is I need to try to go down in the bottom and see if there's any frames I can pull out, maybe that are capped honey or something that I can put a new frame in. Or she'll have room to lay eggs. It was here when it hatched. They've backfilled it with honey, and she's tried to go around and find spots here and there. I see larvae in here, but it's just a few here and there. She's not been able to lay a full frame because they got too much honey and pollen packed around. And it makes it look spotty. If you makes it look spotty, but it's really not. It's just she can't find anywhere to lay. They've bringing the nectar in so fast, they're filling it up. See, the half of this is on the whole other half of it's pollen. So. Quite a bit of brood there, but everything that's hatched has got nectar in it. So, I need to find a frame here somewhere I can take out. Maybe a frame that doesn't have any brood on it. See, they all. All these down here have brood on them. <clears throat> Another 
queen cap right there. Just a, just a practice, practice, practice sale. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two eight frame, I'm going to put the two eight frame boxes back on and then I'm going to put another super on and uh, so she can use that super for some brood if she needs to. It's got a few pulled out frames already in it because I don't want to add a complete deep because I don't want it to be too much space for me at one time, so I'm just going to add a super, and then that way she can lay eggs in the super, which it'll be fine, and then I'm going to put the super with the honey over top of it. So this will give her some more room. but not give them too much room. It's got a few, it's got some foundation in it, some half strips of foundation. So we'll see what they, what they can do with this. And it's got, it's got some cones that are already, some frames that's already pulled out. So that'll, that'll give them a little bit of a head start. I'll we'll move them over to the center the ones that's already pulled out because she'll like to come up in the center and lay eggs so that'll give them a little something else to work with a little bit more room give them some more room but not too much room because I don't want to demoralize them hurt her feelings by giving them too much room And then this super will go on top where they've got frames are partially, they've got three frames here pulled out with honey in them and got the other ones pulled out. So they'll continue to work on them. Now, we could try it. We'll come back in a week or so just to see and we'll look in that super and see if she laid in it like I thought she might. You know, I don't know for sure she will, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm sort of hoping she will. Considering that everything in the bottom has got so much, it's got honey and pollen in it, but it's not anything capped where I could pull it off. So I really don't want to take the pollen from them. And being that, uh, and then I'll continue to feed them some real light syrup. Because I want them to stay motivated.
this box has got two supers on it. Because I wanted to finish this other one off. But the one on the bottom was pretty close to being full. So they're working on this one. Looking pretty good. Pulling out closer to the center, you can see. Now they're, they're capping it off nicely. Side's looking really good. One side of it looks the same. So. We'll move on from these guys. You know, I like to do some real light sugar, water, because it's uh, it's water in the hive form. It keeps from having to go look for it. So if they're able to stay in the hive and get water, it means they can work on something else. So it makes them more efficient, I believe. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe and like, and I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.